Hello. First of all, I just hit 50 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Now, if you're not subscribed, you know what you need to do. In my last devlog, I created this murderous bunny rabbit. The problem with the bunny was that it was not murdering or moving. I don't know why, it just wasn't. This video, it was my mission to procrastinate and not think about the bunny monster movement or murdering until everything else is done. Definitely not because I'm too lazy to figure out what's wrong. The first thing I did this week was try and make doors with locks on them. And the doors have to be opened with a certain key, such as a blue key or a red key. Now, if you think I coded it by myself, well, you're absolutely incorrect. No! I learned slash copied how to do this from a tutorial created by a guy named Gnome Code. Check him out on YouTube, He's, he makes really good tutorials. Somehow I managed to make this while making the key system. Yeah, I'm as lost as you are. Now, before, when you touch the lock with the key, the door is just destroyed. But, you know what? I wanted to add something more, something really exciting, something like, the door now swings open. Yay. It also bounces when it hits the end, which honestly looks kind of cool. Nobody cares! This here is the code. Basically, what this does was figure out why something touches the other version of anime. code will do something between Roblox's other version of anime. Like, GUI or something. Anime. I'm not actually totally sure. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, honestly, I didn't even know what I was trying to do. Anyways, after finishing this, I felt super accomplished. I posted it on my Discord server, which you should totally join right now. If you too want sneak peeks at features added to the game and other things like that, then, well, why aren't you in the Discord server? It's free. Same with subscribing. They're both free. You know what? You should probably do both. DO IT! JUST DO IT! Especially if you enjoy this type of content. Anyways, after I had created the basic key slash door mechanic stuff, I attempted to create some other ways of opening locked areas, like keypads or other puzzles. Give the players a little something exciting to do, other than just walking up to a door and touching it with a key. Because, let's be honest, no one just wants to open doors with different color keys. That's just plain old boring. People want variety. Are you sure about that? The only problem with getting that done this week was all of a sudden I had another game project I needed to do. I had hosted a game jam. Now, I wasn't actually going to make anything for my game jam, as I couldn't win the Robux prize of my own game jam, of course even though I definitely would. Stop the cap! <laughs> so I was like, what was the point of making something if I won't get anything? Here comes the money! But then this message came up on Discord. Being the nice person I am, I agreed, and we started making our game. Apparently, he is a modeler, and wow, he blew me away with his skills. I mean, just look at what he made in, like, one hour. Wow! Now, I don't want to spoil it all, so... If you want more information on the game jam results and the game that we actually made, spoiler alert, it actually turned out to be pretty good, not gonna lie. If you want to see all that, I have a video coming out soon. Anyways, really all I got done this week was making the key mechanic. Bruh. Although I did also create a map blueprint for the first chapter of the game, which looks pretty promising, though I can't show you guys, as that will spoil all the secret hidden places in the game and stuff like that. Next week, I'm putting the pen metal to the pedal or the- Bruh. Uh, anyways, point is, next week, I'm gonna be absolutely full send this project and finish the map and lots of other things. So subscribe and you'll be notified when the third devlog has come out. It'll be action-packed. Goodbye.